Thank you, Tomas. You give a new meaning to the question, how many computer scientists does it take to solve a problem? <laughs> Times would say about that. This is a, a sad occasion. We had obviously planned it to be different, but we uh, just seeing the turnout, it affirms the, the presence of Saul in our lives. And I know he would be uh, thrilled by that. Tomas had told me he knew everyone was coming because Tomas had communicated that to him. So in some ways, this is a, a soul uh, knows about this and has fully internalized it. One of the great things about being associated with a great university is that you are touched by great lives. And Saul has touched all our lives in many, many different ways. And he will continue to touch our lives as we go forward with the mission of this great university. And we do so because as colleagues, as friends, as people he has mentored, as his students, that we stand on the shoulders of a giant. And he was a giant in so many ways. Penetrating, powerful intellect that always stunned me. He would come to my office and I had the same experience and we would talk. And we would begin with the immediate issues of the council that we formed together that he led so well and so successfully for us as an institution in competitions for those very prestigious and hard to come by National Science Foundation grants. But then it would go on to, to politics. He was always interested in the economy. He was always probing me with questions, why wasn't I fixing it? <laughs> what exactly was the problem? How could it be that we can't get out of this recession? And he approached everything with the, just on first principles intellectually. And that was just so refreshing and an antidote for me in my daily task to have that man in front of me and that wealth of life experience, that wealth of personal care and interest. And he's generally interested in everything. He approached him and talked about his treatment, too. And it was a problem for him, just to solve. And uh, that's, it was an algorithm to, to figure out and to work through. And uh, in that sense, he's a model for all of us. As he approached his own difficulties, there was no uh, self-pity. There was no why me. There was no how can this happen. Uh, it was all, you know, here's where we are. Here's what we're going to do. And uh, you know, I would say for the next three weeks, I won't be able to talk to you because I'm going to have this, this, and this. But after that, the usual pattern is I would come back and we did it for a year and a half, two years, just like that. And he was true, he would come back. William Shakespeare, <coughs> who captured the full range of human emotions so long ago and so enduring, in grief and joy, love and hatred age and sorrow, wrote about death, and only on Julia. And he said, when he shall die, take and make him into little stars. He will make the face of heaven so fine that all the world will fall in love with light. And Saul was a light for us to shine and be reflected. 